Good morning, hey yo, what's good, it's your boy Wolfie. Welcome back to more Wolfie. I'm currently chewing on my cheese pie that Bongo brought to my house in the morning. Good friend, good friend. But right now I am at Best Buy with David and he is TV hunting. He's looking for a new TV. We're in the big screen section because you already know what it is. Gotta get that 4K Ultra HD 60 SHZ smart TV. Okay, that was literally a ton to store, tongue twister. David's looking for a TV. I'm not looking for a TV. <laughs> okay guys, so we got the TV and now we are at Train Yards Mall in Ottawa. It's like an outlet mall, but I'm only here to go pick up a few supplies. Not supplies, I am so used to saying supplies. I'm here to pick up a few groceries. We don't have any food in our house. We haven't had in the longest time. And Sylvia it just reminded me that I need to pick up a few things. There's a Walmart around the corner over there. So I'm gonna go there while no, actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna go with David wherever he's going first. So guys, the basics for every house. The only thing she asked for, essentially, were everything bagels. She loves these things. David bought some eggnog because, I don't know, David's addicted to like Christmas and like eggnog. Anything having to do with Christmas, he gets. And then 2% milk. You already know, I was a skim milk mon. This is the stuff I used to drink growing up as a kid. The stuff that's basically white water in bags. Yes, in Canada we have bags. David's coming back with a cream cheese, apparently. He's just like, yo, take my recommendation. I'll bring you something nice. So let's see what he's gonna bring me. It's gonna be a troll. Yo, which broke man unboxed these shrimp in Walmart and started feasting? That's all I wanna know, guys. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Now it's gonna look like I did it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. He couldn't find it. The cream cheese we couldn't find. I think it's just because we're at Walmart, but this is the one that Sylvia always goes with. If you guys need a cream cheese, and if Philadelphia wants to sponsor me, I'm always looking for sponsorships. So, what is that? Regular? Nah, nah, nah. We don't do regular. Chives is actually Yes, yes, which one? Yeah, that is the one. What chive is with that? What's that? Chive? So good. Whip chive? I would go with the regular chive, not whip chive. We're going with this one. Light or regular? Herb and garlic. Chive and onion? Oh my god. What is chive? Bro, I'm getting this for myself. Smoked salmon? Okay, don't listen to David on anything. He's always extra. We get the basics, guys. We get the basics. Not no smoked salmon. You can get that for me, actually. I can get that? All right, here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'll get it. Buy your friend's chive. Ryan, I know you're watching the vlog. 97 cents for some chips right now, man. 97 cents, bro. We got dill pickle. What do you want, regular, all dressed? Ryan loves chip deals, okay? I told you every time we're in Loblaws, looks for chip deals, here's chip deals. You know what, for Ryan, this is for Ryan. Ryan, you're in my heart, man. Ryan, it's for Ryan. Let's roll. Impulse buy, guys, a tornado bottle. I have no clue what this is, but I'm buying it anyways. I'm gonna test it out when I get back home. Okay, so the first one, can we get uh, a spicy chicken Caesar salad? Yeah, half or full size. Uh, full size, please. With extra lettuce if that's possible. I'm on a diet. Spicy chicken Caesar salad, okay. Is it possible to get extra lettuce or no? Like it just, Pardon? is it possible to get a bit of extra lettuce or no? Uh, well, I'll try. Okay. Guys, shout out to Jonathan at Wendy's for hooking it up. Extra, extra lettuce. I told him to do extra lettuce. As you guys can see, the lettuce is just pretty much the same as every other salad, but he said extra lettuce, so I'm gonna believe him. You know, Johnny is a really nice guy, so thank you again, Johnny, for all the extra lettuce. It means a lot. I'm on a diet, you know that. We'll, we'll, we'll. So guys, we're about to film the first uh, video of the day. My video we're filming first, David's video we're filming second because there's a reason for that. Uh, I might be slightly intoxicated in the second one, even though. You'll see it in this vlog. What? You'll be drunk in this vlog. I might be a little drunk in this vlog. My video, uh, if you guys didn't know by what I was talking about in Walmart the other day, basically I'm gonna see how big I can make this cotton candy. I have a bunch of Bristol board. Where's the Bristol board? Somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, right here. So I got a bunch of Bristol board there. I got literally all my cotton candy mixes. These things are heavy, okay? There's mad grams in each of these packages. Each of these weighs 3.25 pounds. I barely used any of it in my past video, so basically we got it all. We're gonna put it all in here, in this machine, the clean machine, now that's clean that I cleaned out the other day. And we're gonna see how big we can make it. Just finished shooting my video. This thing needs another nice clean. Luckily, it's just sugar, no cheese. But. Luckily, you have a friend that cleans up after your video. Yeah? That was all Sylvia, guys. Sylvia cleaned up everything. David yeah, literally what? sat in this chair, looked saying? at her, and now he's just sweeping nothing. <laughs> guys, I, okay, you can stop spraying my feet. My feet don't need a wash. My laptop's here. 
My MacBook's here. Wolfie Jr. was such a good boy while we were uh, filming, so I just gotta keep him in there for like five more minutes because this guy was eating cotton candy. But the video went. That's all I gotta say. Oh God. Why are you spilling so much water? Is it dirty? I think you're. What? This guy's dirtying it more. We're gonna clean everything and then we're gonna take like a five minute break in Wait, between mine and David's video. Gonna suck my dick before we film my video. What? Anyways, guys, it wouldn't be a Wolfie video without the kitchen being an absolute disaster. So it's pretty much a disaster right now. Look at this cotton candy built up. We used a stupid amount. Stupid amount. Okay, so everything's finally clean, guys. We're just going to David's house quickly. Because his is a Christmas video, we need Christmas hats. And Sylvia has a sequined Christmas hat for me to wear, but I'm not gonna wear that one. It's a little girly. I need to look a little more manly. Where did David go? I don't feel safe. Ah, he's not gonna start. Yeah. How can I help you? <laughs> I hate this guy. The troll continues. Time to pick up the damn hats and then start the filming. Okay, so we're finally back and we're about to film David's video. He brought me a Christmas sweater, some Santa thing. Hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully this Christmas sweater fits for this Christmas throw over. Oh, we're good. Meet Santa Wolfie right now. So now that I look very festive, actually not that festive, the arms are a little bit short. What? Oh, fuck. I can't even wear my hat. <laughs> I gotta wear a Christmas hat too, guys. I gotta wear a Christmas hat. Put this bad boy on and it doesn't really fit over my ears, but every time. So now I got my Christmas hat and my Christmas outfit. Guys, so we're halfway through the video. That's David's camera right now. I've just been pulling some bad, bad cards. Bad cards, guys. Anyways, we're looking for supplies, so I thought I'd just update you guys on how it's going. Yeah, we're looking for supplies, yeah? <laughs> You know what? what you I'm just gonna cut the camera off while I should. Okay, bye. We're gonna go to David's house now. He's gonna set up his TV and while he's doing that, I'm gonna edit my vlog. But before we go to his house, I wanted to try out this thing that I bought at Walmart. Literally had no clue what it was. It says it's the tornado bottle. So apparently this thing makes a tornado in a drink, which is cool as fuck. Like you guys just saw I made like the instant ice drink and it was dope as hell. So this thing, it says, it has an anti-spill lid, vortex mixing system, high torque detachable motor. Take it to the gym, office or school, fits in bags, purses, and cup holders. But what can it make? That's all I care about. I don't really care what it really has. I just wanna know what it can make. So it can make coffee and tea, protein shakes, so it just mixes it up. Juices, cocktails, baby formula, chocolate milk, sauces, and you can even make like salad dressings and vinaigrettes with this. So this is what it looks like, guys. I just put the AAA batteries in that were not included, by the way. Didn't even say what batteries I needed on the pack, but this is what happens. As you guys can see, I click the button, and this thing on the bottom spins very, very, very fast. So. I'm just gonna rinse it out really quick and then I'm gonna make a drink. So as you can see guys, I put some water in this. This is what it looks like right now, but I'm gonna give you a nice view on what it looks like when I turn the tornado feature on. Please actually make it. So I turn it, ooh! Bro, that's disgusting. Instantly makes a tornado in the bottle. How cool is that, guys? Since I'm like turnt, can you make me a turnt drink? I can make you a drink. Do you have Coke? I have Coke. You have rum? Make me a rum and Coke. I'm about to make David a rum and Coke because, you know what, I gotta put this to the test. If I turn it on its side, there's no tornado, but if I put it vertically, as you can see, the tornado begins again. That is the coolest thing in the world. When you're making a rum and Coke, basically you wanna grab your Coke. We're gonna make this really not strong, so it's gonna be, it's gonna taste really like Coke Thank at the end see. of it. We're gonna grab the Coke, toss it in here, see how high we can get. Now we're gonna grab the rum, guys. This is... As you can see, Flor de Cana, Flor de Cana, Flor de Cana, uh, Anejo Classico. All of it. I spilled some, but it's all fine. All of it, all of it, all of it. It's all there, bro. All it's of all it, there. All of it. And to be honest, this is gonna be a really light drink. Hold on, show them the fit for Christmas. Okay, yeah, David's outfit. Psych! I hate this guy. We're gonna put all the Coke in it just because I want it to fill up to the very top so we can see the full tornado potential. And look at that. Give yourself a light. <gasps> Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. This is amazing. That is amazing. But I'm gonna turn it off. But you just have to clean up every time you make a drink. No, 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 no. As soon as you put it on, instantly I felt the fizz going up and it pushed against my hand and tried pushing it up, Wait, bro. Wait, why isn't it turning off? You need to turn it off. So here's your drink. Ooh. Here's your drink. I actually rate this. Wait, how much did you pay for this? I don't know. <laughs> 25 bucks, maybe. No, 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 no. I mean, you could have done it with a knife or a spoon, but. <laughs> This is cooler. At the end of the day, bartender Wolfie's here for you. Sorry, no ice cubes? I'm you don't know what? You don't get ice cubes. No ice cubes. I was gonna give you some of these. Oh, you don't have any extra ice cubes? No, no, because those are for my video. That just four for. bags, right? No, nah, there's two outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say there's six, some ice cubes. But you can't have any. So just rate it out of 10. <laughs> so that was just a taste. 
That's pretty good. Okay, 10? <laughs> so I've been editing my vlog for like the past like 40 minutes right now. I'm at David's house right now editing it. We're both extremely hungry. Like we've barely eaten too much food today. All I had was that like one salad because you know, Diet David, Diet Wolfie, we're both on crazy diets. Like all we eat is greens. Like it's just, it's crazy these days. But the problem is I want to go get food now. Like I'm almost done my vlog. And David's been putting his TV together for like the past three and a half hours. Yo, and it's like, geez, bro, like let's just go get the food at this point. Like, come on, bro. Like put the put the thing together. You are cheesing me. TVs come set up and this guy just has to make the stand and it's taking him five and nine quarters hours. You don't understand. Literally, it's just the stand and the TV, guys. I literally when I moved into my new house, I put it together in five minutes. Oh! I did. Go back to that vlog. It took you two days. Did it? Yeah. You didn't have a screwdriver. Oh shit. <laughs> what the? <laughs> is that how that would actually be true? That is true. Saying he watches the vlogs. But Samsung? What uh, brand did we go with? Samsung. A lie? I'm FaceTiming Sophia to ask the brand that we got. By the way. What? I needed a screwdriver. What do you think I used? Oh my god. This guy has his little gadget. Or his keychain. I like to call it a keychain. And uh, everything is on it. You guys know one of those Swiss Army knife rip-off things. Sylvia's mid-filming, but here we go. Call SG. Red Hot. Calling SG. Red, Red Hot. Hot. Yeah. Do it for the vlog, guys. I'm gonna call David out. If I didn't buy a Samsung, you take another shot. All right. All right, bless. But I know you got one. How do you know? I was with you. Were you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay, bye. Right. All right, guys, see you later. So I'm headed to the boys' house right now. Jad has some pretty big news, so I gotta show up and congratulate him on that, but I didn't expect it to be this cold outside today, guys, okay? There's a lot of snow on the ground, and the snow is really light, so usually on days like this, the snow is definitely bearable. I mean, yeah, it is cold, but like you can go outside and have a coat on and be fine, but no word of a lie, guys, I just spent five minutes wiping the snow off my car, and in that five minutes, my hands feel like they have frostbite. Is that a cat running across the road? Stop. Why is there a cat outside at this time, guys? Where'd the cat go? Where'd the cat go? You can see the cat is on this path, guys. It's behind this snowbank. Why is there a cat outside? Why? Oh my God, there should not be a cat outside right now. It's too cold to be outside. I don't know if that cat's lost. I don't know if it knows where its home is, but fuck, I hope it finds its way home because like I said, frostbite five minutes. It's just weather that nobody wants to be outside in right now. A few inches later. I'm just leaving the boys right now. I didn't vlog anything while I was there because there's a surprise going on and I don't want to spoil anything before it actually comes out. So I can't talk too much about it, but while I am out on the way home, I'm going to pick up Sylvia some food. She's at home filming right now and Wolfie Jr. is bugging her. So I'm gonna go help her film, bring her food, and be the good boyfriend that I am. So I saw this video going around on Twitter and basically it was like from the YouTube team um, themselves. It was a video where uh, one of the top people under the uh, YouTube subscription managers, she was being asked questions about all the issues that people are bringing up these days. Basically there's like a few ones. So one of them is when you upload a video, there's a lot of YouTubers that are losing subscribers when they upload a video, which really shouldn't happen. And then there's another issue where just channels are being randomly unsubscribed. Like you could be unsubscribed from one of your favorite YouTubers. Even if you are active on all of their videos and you watch all their videos all the time, you can still be unsubscribed from them. A lot of people thought that that was because maybe you haven't watched their videos in a while and then maybe YouTube's just like deciding on your behalf that, okay, you're inactive on their channel. So what's the point of subscribing to them? But the girl in the interview said that why would we do that? We want to make people subscribe to channels so we would never do that even though I don't know, I feel like there's something they're hiding from us. Something has to be going down because I've just had way too many people tweet at me and tell me straight up that they were unsubscribed from me and I've been unsubscribed from some of my favorite YouTubers as well. So another thing they talked about was videos not showing up in your subscription feed. So say you subscribe to a channel and then the place you go, well, at least the place I go mainly to find where the people I like have uploaded a video is my subscription feed. Like you subscribe to them, you scroll down your feed, and then you see and you pick out which videos you want to watch. But overall on YouTube, a lot of channels have had their views been going down in the past month. And a lot of people have been thinking it's because their videos just didn't show up in that feed of videos. I've also had that happen to me. Like every single video I've posted for like the past month, there is so many people, like hundreds 
if not thousands of people letting me know that they didn't see it in their feed and the only reason they saw it is because I put a Snapchat out about it or a tweet out about it, so thank God they were following me on all that, but I know that's another issue, but they also said there's no issue with that. Basically, it was a whole lot of just like bringing up concerns that a lot of big YouTubers have, which are very serious concerns, like I have these concerns as well, and then they basically said every single answer was, okay, well, there's no problem there, there's no problem there. Everything's fine on YouTube. Nothing's changed on YouTube. Everything's good, basically. So that video really just annoyed me. I just finished watching it. It's not that I think something's wrong. It's obviously there's changes going on right now and something is up. I just hope, even if they're not gonna tell us, I just hope everything's gonna be fixed soon, whether they tell us or not, whatever. Please just go back to the way YouTube was like a month ago. But if you guys have been coming back every day, I appreciate the people that literally like check every night on my channel just to see if I uploaded because then it doesn't matter if the subscription boxes are messed up or if post notifications are messed up, which that's another concern, but that's a whole friggin' other conversation. It doesn't matter about any of that because if you guys keep coming back to my channel every single day and I post basically every single day on this channel, then you're still gonna see the video regardless and none of that matters, but it would be nice if that stuff got fixed. But shout out to all the people that rock with me every single day. You guys are the best. And just for curiosity's sake, I wanna know because I've asked this on Twitter a bunch of times, like in a poll, but it's really unclear the results. So I'm gonna try and make this as simple as possible. Comment the number one if you get all of of my videos in your subscription box no matter what every single day comment one because that means nothing's broken also comment number one if you get all of my post notifications for the videos if you have them turned on I just want to know how many people are actually seeing everything all the time but I want you guys to comment number two down below in the comments please comment number two if there's ever been a time where you haven't seen one of my videos in your subscription boxes or you haven't been notified when I posted a video because all of that stuff apparently is supposed to be working with YouTube but I know it's not so please just comment down below so I know I'm not going crazy. Number two, if there has been issues in the past with my channel, you haven't been seeing stuff, you haven't been notified with stuff, you've been unsubscribed from my channel before, comment number two for any of that. That way tomorrow I can go look at all the comments and I can just see if it actually is a thing. Maybe it's a mind game with me and all these other big YouTubers and all these small YouTubers and all these medium sized YouTubers, but it's it's not, it's definitely not. So leave a comment down below. Let's all pray together that everything gets fixed soon. Oh, he got me, I'm it. Now he's gonna run. You're it, deep out. Peace. Why are you growling? Why are you growling at me? Yo, if you guys are having a bad day, I just need you to do me one favor and cheer. Just cheer up. You just need to cheer up. Anyways, guys, I'm ending the night off helping Sylvia take her thumbnails for her videos and finish up with her video, but I'm gonna end the vlog off there. You should also end the vlog by cleaning off. Uh, I can't poop. clean Wolfie's poop. Can't clean this poop, guys. Wolfie Jr., literally, I'll give it to you, bro. Good job. You literally, he's like, you see what I did? You see what I did? Good boy. I pooped on it. Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy. Because every time I growl at him, if he doesn't poop on it, he knows now that I know that he's smart enough to be going poop on the pad every single time if we don't take him outside because it's snowing. Because when we take him outside and it's snowing, he literally frolics in the snow and gets wet and cold and then wants to come inside. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna end the vlog off there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to go down, smash that like button. Wolfie, how many likes do we always ask for? 25k. 25k likes, you already know what it is. Go smash that like button if you haven't already. Also, shout out to Daniel for supporting me on the tweet gang. And lastly, if you guys made it to the very end of the vlog, I want you guys to comment something down below so I know you're active. Comment down below Lindor, okay? L-I-N-D-O-R, that's it. Lindor, and I will see you guys soon on more Wolfie where we stay a little bit more savage than my main channel. And as always, stay savage. Lego, yeah.